Hello, good afternoon. It's May 17th, Tuesday. Today I wish to talk about the character is Yang. We are we now. We are here at uh, the 32nd character, Yang. It means the son of positive. Yang. That is um, TTF. And in Cantonese it's Zhe. In Mandarin it's Yang. Whole sentence. Lili Diao Yang. Lili Diao Yang. This means we have completed all here. And for this sentence, you can listen. It's a poetry, right? Basically, this means that the leap year, about the nature of leap year and the nature of sound and music, this means that what is the meaning of these uh, two sentences? I mean, everything, there's the nature law. We cannot violate the nature law. We don't do anything that is funny. We cannot challenge the nature. There's always a law there. If everybody don't follow the musical rules, no nice music. Okay. We if we have we must standardize the music, the sound, the scale of each of the sound of each of the music. Okay, that is the, the principle of these two sentences. Okay. Now. Yeah. Uh, can close now, and uh, this is how you write this. That the left part is called radical, and that is the right part. And you can observe the sun here. Z, yeah, means the sun. Okay, so this whole character has the meaning of a sun or positive. But unfortunately, in Google Translate, there's only one meaning positive. That I think is far from being enough. Yang. So, Google Translate, in this case, is not enough. And what the meaning? Maybe I'll come to this website first. Yang. It means the, the northern part of the mountain. Sorry. It's about a thousand part of a mountain on the northern part of the waters, of the, of the sea. So that's Minyang. But that is olden days, or unless you study Feng Shui, that you may have to know about it. Taiyang, this means the sun, and that is the most important uh, meaning of this character. And also positive. Um, you see, the logo of this website is the Tai Chi. Um, it is the Tai Chi, the black part is yin, I mean the negative, and the white part is yang, is the positive. When we say yang shi, this means this life. And yin jia means the hell for the ghost, for the spirit. And yang is all for the human beings. Hui yang means the body who almost died and near death but returned to life they call Hui Yang to positive. It also a family name but it very seldom. And it, as an adjective it is a positive, like um, positive ion and negative ion. For the positive ion we have uh, Yang Di Zi. Yang Di this means the um, Anode, right? Oh, I can't remember that a long time ago for physics. Anode and cathode, right? Anode, and called yang ji, and cathode means uh, yin ji, okay. Ah, xian ming, the very bright, but it's seldom. Xiang yang, it was very seldom. Uh, yang Wen is mean that it's something protruding, but it's also very seldom. 
阳奉阴违 means um uh means uh, in the appearance you you just you, you, you pretend to be something but actually not. But it's unless you really study Chinese to a certain degree then you understand it because it's a lot of uh, old school. So all in all it means in English mean a positive, a son, positive a male. Electric son, male principle, principle Taoism, young, opposite yin one. Okay. Or the Taoism we call the male and yin mean the female. Yeah, on the opposite yin, okay. Okay. In German it's on Okay, yang yeah, that's a printed form. And that is the Unicode. And Mandarin the Yang. It the uh, this little symbol going up. Okay. And Cantonese is the fourth nation, Zheng. Okay. Korean, Yang, similar. Vietnamese, Duong. Yang, Fu, Gu, Jiuhua, Gong, Shanghua. Yang. This radical called Fu, Bu. Yang. The twelve drugs. Yang. For the meaning, uh, we have already gone through, so that's it for this character. Now that is the form um, thousand years, and now it's transformed to something standardized now. But in mainland China and Singapore, there's a simplification though, which I put here. And like that, that is simplified form. Oh, let go to the, to the standard form now, here. And the cursor strip is easy. For the left part, to put something like this. And the right part, that's it. Okay. Again. That could be how we write it. Okay, thank you. And tomorrow we talk about the 33rd character, Jin. Okay. See you then.